Hi everyone, I'm Rob Schmidt, and before I ask the question, what did the President know about and what can we really trust him with, I'd like to say a few things about the tragedy which has overtaken our friends in Oklahoma with the, you know, the horrendous tornadoes that touched down recently. I grew up in Indiana, which although not part of Tornado Alley, I encountered a lot of severe weather. Severe th I got caught up in a couple severe thunderstorms. I even got caught up in a hailstorm, which had no warning whatsoever. It was an overcast day, but there were no tornado warnings. I thought the hail was going to break the windshield of my car. It didn't, but it left a lot of dents in the car, a lot of memories. And again, there's no way of knowing as a conservative evangelical why God allowed this to happen. The best thing we can do as evangelicals is to learn from the mistakes of Pat Robertson after 9 11 and simply come to the aid of our countrymen in Oklahoma. Show the world why the United States is the greatest nation on God's green earth by showing our countrymen in Oklahoma as much love and as much Christian charity as humanly possible. What we should ask about is why is it that President Obama, how the President Obama claims he didn't know anything about Benghazi, national defense, he claims he didn't know anything about the Boston Marathon, and domestic terrorism is still national defense. He claims he doesn't know why the AP has been subjected to this tyranny that they've had with having their emails confiscated or listened into, and he claims he doesn't know anything about what the IRS did. Now, if we can't trust the president to handle Benghazi, if we can't trust him to handle the Boston Marathon, if we can't trust him to leave the AP alone in this case, uh, my colleague at Fox News, James Rosen, because it's my understanding that James Rosen has had his email subpoenaed. The only reason that James Rosen should have his email subpoenaed is if he was guilty of treason, which he isn't. I've talked to a prosecutor on this one, and First Amendment rights go a long way, and as a fellow journalist, I do have credits with Fox News, with the O'Reilly Factor, with ABC, so I know James is a little higher up. But if we can't trust President Obama to leave the press that he doesn't like alone, the only thing that James Rosen is guilty of right now is being a colossal pain in the side of President Obama's administration. And if we can't trust President Obama to leave the IRS alone and not go after his political enemies, what can we trust this guy with? He can't keep saying he doesn't know about all this and maintain any credibility. So if President Obama didn't know about Benghazi, he didn't know about Boston, um, you know, the Boston Marathon, if he doesn't know anything about the AP and he doesn't know anything about the IRS, what exactly does he know about? And if he doesn't know anything about those, what exactly can he trust? Can we trust him with? Ladies and gentlemen, I'd love to hear your thoughts on this one, so please share them with me in the YouTube Message Center. And again, I want to wish my thoughts and prayers to Oklahoma. Let's come to their aid as much as humanly possible. And on that note, may God be with you all.